Hey guys, so Brian came to visit me from work. He's on his little lunch break. Lunch break, Flo. Lunch break, Flo. About to head back to the plantation. No, it's to the what? Your JLB. No. Planto. <sighs> so. Ain't no leaving. Mm hmm. It is definitely leaving. You won't even be home. I'm done with work. Probably like 8.30, 9 o'clock. No, it's not. No, it's not. I think 10 o'clock tonight is what I'm getting off. Stop being annoying. Can I walk into your car? Oh, you walk into my car. <laughs> I need some fresh air. I'm like a, a jailbird in here. You a jailbird. Mm-hmm. Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. Are you cold? Is it cold at work? Oh my god, I got some fresh air for once. <laughs> Stay your ass inside. Stay your ass inside. I like when you wear the blue um collared shirt. The blue thing underneath. Oh, yeah. right. I ain't got nothing blue underneath. Yeah, you do. It's blue. What? Oh, it's black. <laughs> it's black. Color black. Oh my God, you parked right here. I thought we'd have a longer walk. Yeah, Everybody's asking if you got a new car. No, I ain't getting a new car. Man. My car gonna be ready. Wow. Lip gloss. Lip gloss. Mm -hmm. Let me get a lip gloss, please. Mm. <laughs> Sticky kiss. All right, guys. So Brian just left back to work, and I thought about it, and I was gonna film the video, but like I want to just because there's a hype on it right now, and it's gonna get me the views that I want and all that. But like I feel like I'm gonna rush it. My hair's not gonna come out good. I'm not gonna have enough time. It's not gonna have enough time to dry and all that stuff. And then plus, me and Brian are filming later on, and I want to do a, a video for my, my main channel and then a video for our channel. So my hair is gonna look like really soaked and wet, and it's just it's not gonna be popping. So I thought about it, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna film it today. I do have a video for today, which was Wednesday, and I have a video for Sunday. So that's all I need, and um. I know, I've actually have three videos, so okay, that's good. So I think I, when I come back on Monday, I'll probably film that on Tuesday. So, I don't know, I'll see. Depends, do you guys want a video um, using this product, this new product that's like really hyped up right now, or is it just whatever? Like I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm. I'm thinking I'm going to film that when I come back on Tuesday and then have it ready for Wednesday. That's what I want to do, but I'm not pretty sure yet. But yeah. Anyway, so right now I'm editing the vlog for today. This is the vlog for today. And then I want to figure out my intro because I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. And then I'm eating some Chipotle. And this looks like a plop of shit right on there. Because this is Chipotle from yesterday, but I wasn't hungry, so... I didn't eat it, so I'm eating it this morning, so don't mind how the guac looks, but I don't know, it's good to me. And my favorite sauce is the chipotle sauce. This shit is so good. Nice and spicy. So yeah, I'm just going to eat my food and edit my video. So good to me. So y'all, we just wrapped up two videos. Um, yeah, Brian's back home. So we did one video for my channel, my main channel. He did my natural hair. And this is what he did. Like, he didn't do too, too bad. Like, this is a half style that he did. He also did a bun, which you kind of failed on. But you guys will see that in the video. He is so freaking loud on the phone. But um, yeah, so definitely go subscribe to my main channel. Because that's where this video is going to be on where he does my natural hair and then on our black little Viz channel we did um reacting to each other's old photos so that was fun as well you guys would to see when i was young back in the day when he was young so that was cute um so yeah we just wrapped up this is the 
set up right here and I'll sit them down here and yeah so yeah we are about to go eat and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and then it is bedtime I think I'm gonna pack and do everything tomorrow before I leave my flight isn't until 5 525 so I got a lot of time and I'm not bringing my suitcase so I'll be okay so yeah I'm starving so I'm about to go eat <laughs> Brian. Hey, baby. Someone said that. Someone's like, I didn't know Brian was 30 years old. Wow. Because <laughs> remember when you were talking about the game and you're like, that's me at 35 or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's not 30 Once years old, okay? Not at all. No, no, that guy was a total ball. He just graduated. He's, he's, he's still a young baby. Complain about not baby. getting rock from a werewolf name. But yeah, he just did my Jay hair. Shitwood. And he did it. Shooter. He did okay. Why is your game so loud up? You what, the 1950 something? No three point line, just a bunch of long twos? Not getting the space into that. A chick would play the game with passion. He had the purest shot. They're going to Toronto for four days. I'll probably be working so much. Yeah, you're probably here. No, no, no. He got it. He said, but delicious. Why you laughing? Remember that gun? Yeah. Right. Such a right. loser. Justice Young. Justice. I'm gonna miss you. All right. All right, the freak. Hey, you know the freak of ball. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go eat now. I'm starving. You hungry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at this little. Hey guys, good afternoon. So I am off to the airport. Bay driving me. Driving up to the airport. I know. I'm so excited to be home though for a little bit. My mom said she'd cook me up some food. Yeah, bring me something back. Mm -hmm. She got me some macaroni pie, uh, some sweet potato, bring me some of that salmon. macaroni pie. I know. It's good, right? It's better than your mama. Better than my mama. Better. So yeah, um, about to head to the airport. I'll be home around 9 o'clock. It's like a three hour. Um, no, it's a three hour flight, flight yeah. to Toronto. So my sister says she's gonna pick me up and then I can't wait to see my friends. Hopefully like they wanna chill with me today because I wanna chill with them. <laughs> I know Munchie says she's gonna be there for sure, so I'll see Munchie and then everyone else tomorrow probably. So I'm just so excited to be home for a little bit, but then I'm back today on Monday. All right baby? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully I don't miss this flight. I won't. It's still kind of early. But yeah, so I'm just going to vibe out in the car, listen to some jams on our way to the airport. Morning guys, so today's Friday and I actually came home yesterday, but literally I didn't do anything I Chilled out and went to bed. So I'm finally home, but I am going to my orthodontist appointment today and um, Kind of nervous because I'm supposed to be getting elastics today. So Elastics on top of braces on top of expander like I'm quitting YouTube for <laughs> Until I get this expander out like I'm quitting like it's over so I'm really nervous about that. I just pray that he says I can take out my expander. I'm really nervous about it, but I'm gonna be vlogging. And then after that, I gotta go to the bank, drop off a few, few checks, and then I also do my nails because they've been growing out, do my eyebrows because they hot, hot mess, and do my toes and do a little bit of waxing as well. But um, yeah, I'm kind of late right now. My appointment is at 11:30. They actually moved it from like 3:30 to 11:30, and that's better for me so I can do more things. But I'm just a little bit late right now, so I'm gonna get on the move and do that. And then I'm having like a little dinner today. Mom says she's cooking like just randomly. She told me that yesterday. I'm like, oh, you're cooking for my party because like all my friends are supposed to be coming over today. So 
yeah it's actually our thanksgiving this weekend it's like long weekend thanksgiving i personally don't celebrate thanksgiving because what it stands for and all of that like obviously people give thanks during that time but what it really is according to like the americas i don't stand for it so i don't really celebrate it but um yeah so i'm gonna head to my dentist appointment and wish me luck guys just made it and there's my freaking gym over there that I need to go to. <laughs> I pay for it every month and I don't go. Okay guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay. No much people watch my braces video. Like uh, over 200,000 people. Really? Oh really? Oh my god. Wow. Oh, then we should be very... Um... <laughs> Was I on it? Yeah, I'm talking about it now. <laughs> Was my face on it? No. <laughs> for some good things today. Yeah, it's okay. mm -hmm. So now, oh guys, this is how my teeth look before it. Yeah. You can see this one changed a lot. Of oh course, my everything has changed, but yeah. It looks, my bite, doesn't it look the same though? Uh, alignment is better. The upper jaw is bigger now oh, because yeah. like here oh, but yeah, it's it still is. like lower jaw is like is very big it's too big and because of this tooth and uh, this missing tooth we maybe we can consider okay we have open please yeah because you have missing teeth for like number seven and number seven so this makes our job harder harder very harder yeah. because we need extraction in the anyway we gonna make Align them and then maybe you consider surgery after that. Taking out teeth or do oh, jaw oh, surgery? Or oh, surgery, yeah. Taking out teeth, uh, I don't know, this is like would be not very scientific. Like yeah. Not very scientific. But maybe surgery would be better for you. Like what? After, after we finish our job and align the teeth. Because now if you see. Okay. Uh huh. So this is like even the suit is better. Okay, yeah. the lining is better. Okay, we are like uh, let's finish our job now and then after that we'll uh, see what we how it goes. But well, once they start aligning and then you put the elastics like to close it, wouldn't it be like better? Yeah, it will be better. But like it's still like your case because of this missing teeth is like more. Can I get an implant? More surgical. <laughs> More surgical. I mean, no one would. I mean, I, I, I don't like to to pull out teeth while you have like missing teeth here. If you had like here with two teeth here, I would love to do this. It would be the easiest job and the best job to do this because I will have spaces here and with uh, this is what I need. These spaces, I need them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you know. Um, but will that tooth get uncrooked then? If you need the space, this one, yeah, yeah, it's very hard now. Just to, well, we are doing our best just to create space for it. But uh, if if you had like two teeth here, uh -huh. then job will be much easier. Now we are like trying our best to just to align it. Yeah, okay, it will come. Like, but you will need a, an oral surgery consult. Uh, I will. Uh, I will check if we can uh, bring someone here, an oral surgeon, mm -hmm. and um, take a look mm -hmm. and see what we can do. Okay? I doubt I'm gonna get jaw surgery. <laughs> I doubt it. You doubt for surgery? You don't like to do it? Jaw surgery? No. Really? But and when should we? We talked about that before, and you said okay. No, I never. I said never. <laughs> that I would have. If that was the case, I would have got that instead of the expander or whatever okay. I had to do. No. Yeah, but uh, like it's it's coming, like it's better now, you know. But we have some limitations. That's the. So yeah, I just left my ortho appointment, and that appointment was the most painful I have had. Like it was actually painful. They put a bunch of um, elastics and um, what do you call it? Power chains at the bottom. Oh my gosh, it was painful, especially because one side of my mouth, like the bottom teeth, were already hurting because they're trying to um, 
this this part is moving because they're trying to get this tooth on crooked so yeah that was really painful like all the pressing the pulling bruh i was like squirming in my chair like holding on to the like the lady who was helping <laughs> it was bad but like i feel better now but i just know i'm gonna be in pain in like a few like i don't think i'm gonna be able to eat today and my mom cooked some good up food so i don't know i'm gonna pop a bunch of advils though but that was painful but guys oh my god so I have good and bad news. I'll start with the bad news. He said that my lower jaw is way too big for the top jaw. So he was like, ooh, like we really need to pull teeth at the bottom. That's the problem, but I don't have enough teeth at the bottom to pull because I actually had to get, um, I think two of my molars pulled from like when I was younger because I had cavities in them. Um, literally I had holes in them and that was unfortunate of me back then so he's like yeah you don't have enough space at the bottom we actually need to pull teeth for like a better um i don't know he said it would look it would align better and like your crooked tooth would be able to have more space and all that um so he's like like we really need to consider doing oral surgery like jaw surgery or possibly getting implants so we can pull the two teeth but he's like i'm not gonna do anything until we can get like an actual like a was it like a oral surgeon or somebody i can't remember what he said somebody in who's like specializes in that so we can get a second opinion and tell you if there's any other options than just doing jaw surgery or whatever but he's like we're on the right track still um 16 months is your um thing like everything is looking better i don't know if you guys see my little mold my mold of how my teeth looked before so you can definitely see that these top teeth are like getting so straight because i remember one of them were like like they're literally dented inside like in and like my these teeth are like protruding and like this tooth is getting a little bit better actually because i remember it was literally all the way crooked so it is turning as you can see i do have uh the what do you call it um the power chain uh, i have gray ones <laughs> so yeah i'm hoping that this month i can see great results but that's the bad news either i have to get um implants or jaw surgery or i'm just not gonna have the most amazing results which i don't exactly care for like i don't care to have like the most perfect teeth because i feel like teeth make me teeth make me unique <laughs> can barely say that and like I was looking at the dentist's teeth I'm like you, you want me to do all this stuff but look at your teeth like look at your teeth his teeth are not nice <laughs> no offense but so <laughs> I was like come on now like I'm good like I just want my teeth to be uncrooked I want to have like this kind of straight teeth and I feel like once I put in my um put the elastics in oh wait that's another thing I didn't even get my elastics um this time so maybe next time um but yeah so uh he's like once you put the elastics in we start closing your bite it will look a lot better and once we get these teeth aligned okay i'm sorry i feel like i'm just going off topic so the good news the good news four weeks guys i'm getting less than four weeks because i go back november 3rd i'm getting my expander off i am so freaking excited you don't even know can't wait to get this bad boy off so i can talk like my regular self I don't know i'm just gonna be so happy he's like we got really good progression with the upper jaw one more month and it's coming out oh my god bruh this is amazing i'm gonna be able to eat properly well not eat properly because it's not braces but i'm gonna be able to eat way better i am be able to talk better i'll be able to pronounce certain words like e k leave t <laughs> i'm so excited like i'm counting down the days but yeah so now like that's the best news i ever heard like really like i'm not even thinking about jar surgery i'm not thinking about implants i'm not thinking about none of that i'm thinking about taking out this expander uh-huh um <laughs> so anyways um i'm so excited about that but yeah i'm about to go do my nails and then go back home so i will see you guys soon back at my store mary's nails so guys, I'm at Mary's now doing my nails, and I already did my fingernails. This is the color called teacups, and it's shellac. Ow. And now I'm doing my toes. <laughs> 
and I'm getting the same color on my toes so all right guys so I'm back home but before I end this vlog um, even though I ended it pretty much on a good note saying I'm taking my expander next month um, I want to show you guys a few of the packages I got while I was away um, so the first one is from um, Burt's Bees because I'm working with them on Instagram so I have a bunch of their lip balms I have the cucumber mint pomegranate oh my god pomegranate is my favorite so I'm excited to try this one um grapefruit vanilla beans so I just have different flavors and stuff like that I don't know if they're colored I doubt they are but I just got a bunch of these so I'm working with them next package is from Mac I got a package from Mac I have the uh, the most amazing like PR company who sends me things like they're so bomb they're even the ones who sent me to the Rihanna event which is something I'm gonna show you guys next but yeah so fix it fam welcome to the fix fam show us how you customize your coverage with your fix hacks Kayla and Marissa and I got a gift card Woo! I wonder how much this is for hopefully it's for like 50 bucks or something I don't know what I would get though so I got this like big fluffy like, it's like a fan brush or something I don't know but it's really really soft so that's nice can't have enough brushes and then I got another brush this is the 190 brush I'm not really I don't know what it's for probably foundation or concealer or something the MAC prep and prime I think yeah this is the fix plus so I have yet to try fix plus so this is gonna be my first time trying it so I'm excited got the full size too and then lastly I got strobe cream I doubt I'll be using the strobe cream don't really know what it's for oh it says to add glow and vitality to tired stressed out skin use when needed so maybe I will use this because I like to glow so thank you Mac and Kaylee and Marissa okay guys so the next thing I got I literally almost flipped out when I seen it because I wasn't expecting it at all but I'm so excited so I got some Rihanna goodies and I think the people who sent this were the people who brought me to the event in New York so look at this it's so beautiful nicely packaged I was so excited so I got this whole look at this it's literally like a book hey girl hey Riri I was freestyling Jen. <laughs> I got it Oh shoot, it's dead. <laughs> wow, I already played it though. So yeah, I got another one of the primers and I really actually do love the primer. And then I don't know how they knew my color. I don't know if they watched my Fenty Beauty review or whatever, but they matched me with 420. And I'm actually 430, but 420 I can probably pass pass with or I can use it when it's winter because I am definitely going to get lighter. So, like I have the perfect foundation right here. And then I got two of the Shimmer Skin Sticks in unicorn and yacht life and I actually wanted yacht life so that's bomb and unicorn is purple so that's my favorite color and then I got another one of the foundation brushes I got a highlight brush the gloss balm oh my god I love the gloss balm so much I got another trophy wife and then I got another mean money and hustler baby and then I also got the blotting powder as well as the blotting paper so how bomb is this like I got more products Woo! most excited for these right here this right here I'm excited for everything but thank you guys so much I appreciate this and it's bomb It's hella 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 bomb so yeah those are the few things that I did want to show you guys but I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'm gonna start editing it right now so I can put it up at a decent time so I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in Monday's vlog